this is an IBM CPU from a Z9 server and that's the CPU cooler from the Z9 server if you compare this with this it's pretty big pretty heavy has its own temperature sensor and that's the cooler for the CPU module of a Z900 server it's an older model um, the lower part here is the evapor evaporator unit which is screwed to the CPU uh, module and the upper case here is the refrigeration unit I found this in a big cardboard box in the junk bin and I thought it could be something interesting to take apart We have a compressor, about something similar you will find in a, in a fridge or in an air conditioning unit. We have some insulated hoses that go to the outlet ports and the inlet ports. Um, we have some temperature sensors here, glued to this, I think that's the return line. And there is another sensor maybe that's the output line yes i think that's it um, on the back side would be a control board for the unit but that's missing then we have a massive plate where all the connections um, that's just a light an indicator light i don't know why they need such a big board for a light but well i think they know what they do that's some details of the uh, compressor cooling uh, fluid and type that's the valve for refilling the cooling fluid the cooling fluid is uh, filled in the factory and let's see if we still have some yes there is still some fluid inside some gas That's the hoses from the evaporation unit. We have four uh, links because uh, of redundancy. We have two refrigeration units. And, uh, in and we have here some uh, special valve sockets. There is a valve in the, in the lower part and in the upper part. And when you screw them together, this uh, valve open and the cooling fluid can flow through the hose. Uh, this is made because the cooling unit must be interchangeable and when a technician unscrews this hose, uh, these automatic valves close and the cooling fluid stays inside so uh, it doesn't leak out. Um, there is are some details on this evaporation unit part number. You can google that, you won't find a lot, except that it belongs to a Z900. Then we have these protection caps here for storage. They make uh, nice containers for, uh, for example for grease. You can screw them together, have a small container for something. Well, I think the more interesting part would be this unit. It is screwed with these uh, seven screws to the CPU. They are uh, operated from the back side. They have a little spring inside and so that they retract after loosening. Then there is this moisture uh, pad or anti-moisture pad 
Uh, this is important because any air humidity would condensate on the cold plate. Although there is a gasket around, it should be airtight, but a little bit rest of moisture is always there and this a bag of uh, stuff is there to suck it up and keep it dry. Then You see here everything is sealed with uh, silicon uh, sealing, sealant. Um, now I remove the insulation from the tubes. You can see the, uh, the hoses. And now I try to open that side of the unit. That's a thick plastic part which is relatively brittle so I hope to uh, get away inside from that side of the unit it turned out that it is hopeless from the other side so I'm trying this side there is some thick aluminium foil stick to that and underneath I feared that would happen uh, it's polyurethane foam everything is foamed foam filled completely but let's see if I can do something from that side Let's check if there is still some gas inside before I break something. No, it's empty. And now I'm stuck. My screwdriver stays in place like a rock. No way to get it out. I even bent this massive copper with the lever you just saw. So I think I have to continue that in another video with some more brutal toys. I think I need an angle grinder for that and cut the entire case open. But I won't do that tonight. Thanks for watching.